So guys, did you like my new logo? I did. A bit colourful. The old one was a bit dark and dreary, so I thought I'd add a bit of colour, and I do actually really like it. Anyway, back to the game. We're actually getting to the point now where our trains are running pretty much full. Look, look at this. We got 24 people waiting at Stab City. We have nine going to La Mesa from Sandy Shores. That'll build up by the time the next train gets there. And we have four down in La Mesa, but a train's just picked up. So the trains are actually running pretty full at the moment, which is definitely a good thing. Let's look at our profits. The Stab City line, our only train line, is actually making a profit now of $26,000. And let's just hope that continues. I'm going to gradually add some more trains on uh, when the capacity gets full. Because if I put a new one on now, it just it start losing money again, which is not a good thing. So I'm just going to start saving up for that. One thing I have done is I've put a few new vehicles on some lines which needed it. And looking at this, there's still a few lines that need more vehicles. Uh, Sandy to Polito is one of them, definitely. So I'm going to buy one, two, three, four, five. They're going on Sandy to Polito one. And LS Vinewood, I'm going to chuck three on there, I think. Close you. Uh, where's the depot? Oh, there it is. So, you buy vehicles. One, two, th not enough money. Oh, we've just gone through a new month. That's annoying. Oh, well. Hold on. Look at that. We're making 350000 on the grapeseed food line now. That's definitely good. Uh, Stab City's all the way up there now. 62000 that was just making. It must have just dropped off. But still, that's pretty damn good. Uh, anything else impressive? The Calafia loop lines, considering how many vehicles there are, they're not making as much money as I thought they would. Which is a bit odd. Oh well. Uh, what did I say? LS Vinewood they're going on. And I'm going to chuck... Um, and I'm going to leave it at that for now. <clears throat> I do want to build this bridge as soon as possible, but like, what's the cheapest I could get it? Oop. No, from that track. 700, 600. It's weird, the further it goes, the cheaper it seems to get. 657,000 seems to be the cheapest. Yeah, we're a long way off. That's annoying. I really want to get a track across there. But it's just not going to happen for a while. And it's really, really annoying. Right. I think we should have a new line. Question is, where would we have it? We could put some fuel into Stab City. That's a possibility. Um, we if we was going to do that, we could, in theory, use a train and ride off the back of the train line. But I'm not sure that's a good idea. I do also want to get some fuel down into Cypress Flats and the Mesa. Again, we could use a train line. Is that a good idea? Huh. Let's have a look. So we'd want a freight station uh, terminal to uh, no one track one twenty plus two hundred. Oh, why are you zooming in there? If I was to put that in by there, it would cost me eighty four thousand dollars. I'm going to do that. And I'm going to need to do one at the other end as well. So there's the fuel stop. That's fairly flat as it is. Uh, station. Ooh, actually it's on a hill. 
Yeah, that's not going to happen at that length. What about a 200 meter platform? Uh, uh. No, that's getting more expensive. Oh, 104,000, but it's not really where I want it. 89,000. Um, 100,000. But the track wouldn't really work by there. Um, huh, this is a bit of a problem. Yeah, 400,000, no thanks. 700,000. 200. 160. Oh, we can afford that. Ah, you son of a gun. Hundred and ninety. This is surprisingly expensive. Um hundred and sixty-nine. Of course the problem then is we're gonna have to build the we're gonna have to bend the road around the truck depot. We can almost afford it though. Hundred and forty. Right, on the last day of this month, like the twenty eighth or something. I'm going to pause and I'm going to see what the most, the best position we can put it in is. Like, we can afford that right now, but I'm going to see if I can, I, got, I want it in a good position. Oh, wow. We're probably going to get 200,000. 26th. Yeah, we are. 27, 28th. Right. 216,000. What's the best place I could put it for that much money? Ooh, there. Going in there. And we got five grand left. Can I put a road across there? Yeah, nope. Really? That's causing a collision there. Too much curvature. Really? Uh, I'm gonna have to get rid of that and lose all that. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Not really much I could do about it though. Of course, the problem now is I need to put that in before this stop marker disappears. Otherwise, I'll have to reaper in all our lines. I should be able to do that though. There. Just pop that in like that. Right, play, and hopefully, it should start putting things on there again. You're gonna do it. Uh. This bear not break now. Oh well. Come on. Is there... Your production's up. Product. Ah, there's nothing stored, that's why. There's nothing stored so it can't make anything. So the next truck that comes along, which is you, while you carry in four oil, it should transfer, uh, yeah, transfer that, transform that into fuel, which I'll put back on the truck stop for the next truck to pick up, hopefully. Right, yeah, it's working. Because there's no fuel on there. That, that's fine. That's all I wanted to check to make sure that was still working. Right, need to put some track in now. That doesn't look right to me. Is that connected? Yeah, it is. It just doesn't look like it. 200,000? Uh, I don't think so. Mm. 145,000 to put that in. Well, we're going to have to do it, I suppose. And pop that in there. 
Right, we've done the hard bit now, the bit that digs in. That's the expensive bit, like $200,000. Now, we need to get this road, uh, this road, try that again, this train track over the road. And you, it does end there, you could just say, why not go around? But that road is going to continue down, so it's going to cross over there at some point anyway, so I might as well put it in now. So, I want a curve of 55. That's how I did this one, so it'd be a nice even curve. And I wanted to keep going uphill and lift over the highway. So now we just need a bit of cash. Oh, by the way, our train line was making 80,000 words and now 155,000 it was just making. So now this is starting to come profitable and that's exactly what I wanted to see. Grapeseed food up over 400,000, 415,000 near enough. So yeah, we're definitely... This is this is good, guys. I'm, I'm happy with this. We just need to buy more trains for the Stab City line now and get this oil line running because oil lines make a hell of a lot of cash. Right. No, I don't want you to... Uh, there. I want you to go up. Yeah. Ah, missed it. Son of a gun. What I am going to do, though... Put it next to the road without it clicking on, like grabbing onto the road. There. That's where I want it. Right, what else is making us money? Grapeseed fuel, blah, blah, blah. There's a few loot, like making us only a small amount of money, but I don't really mind that. The big money is in the railroads, and that's what we're getting into now. Right, I can put that in now. We're basically going to have a flying junction up over this road. 22,000. Yeah, whatever. Right, now it's into a bridge. Can we get it across? I don't really want a wooden bridge. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, question is, could I get a highway under there? I think I could, maybe. Not sure. Um, the speed is a bit low. 55, no, 53, 56, I'll do. Right, so something's just occurred to me. We shouldn't do a flying junction. As much as I'd like that to happen, it's a bad idea, and I'll tell you why. Because the station we put in at the other end is on this side of the highway. That means we'd have to have two junctions. So what I think would be better, we're going to put the highway in. And then we're going to have a track either side of the highway. I think that'll look pretty cool. So I'm going to pop that in like that. And this is going to run alongside the highway. The, the railroad lines even. Okay guys, I've put the highway in all the way along. And unfortunately, it's not quite as nice as I was hoping, because even though the rail sticks to the road, the road doesn't want to stick to the rail, so I had to put it as close as I could within reason. And in places like this, it left a fairly big gap, and it's not very nice, but maybe in the future I can relay it or something. But another thing that's happened, and I have no idea why, but Polito Fuel isn't... it's broken. <laughs> that's the only way to describe it, really. And I have not a clue why. Um, finances. Yeah, look at that. It's just dropped right off. Could it be that the demand isn't there? Is that Could that be it? Please obey. What? There's no demand. Uh, there's no... Nothing being delivered. What are you... Right, you've got four fuel on board. You gonna deliver it? Make us some money? I really do wanna see what this is gonna do. Ooh, come on. It's right in the range of the job sector, the industrial sector. Right, now we've started delivering again, so our profit should go up. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. 
Ah. It does seem still that the, a lot of the trucks are bunched up together. Ah. I don't know. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. Oh, well. Right. I think it's time to lay this railroad. And this is hopefully going to make us a lot of money. And it should be easy and cheap to lay because it should stick to the road. I was at a heart attack then, so it just flew up my window. So this should, in principle, be quite cheap. And it looks like it's going to be. Let's turn the camera around so we can see where we're going. I think this will actually look really cool with the thing either side of the road. It'd be nice if this one stuck to the road. I may, when we have a lot of money, relay it. I may. I don't know. Just an idea. But, I don't know. I think that'll look pretty cool. Another thing we have to do after we laid the railroad track is set up a distribution in La Mesa, Los Santos even, all across that sort of area. Uh, MH38, there it is. So yeah, we need to do that, set up a few distributions, get as much demand as possible. Welcome back guys. So I've gone round and I've put some more signals on both lines. And I've double tracked this line and of course we're going to go negative. Uh, turn those off. But I double tracked all of this and it goes all the way down to the city, the station's in. I think it actually looks really cool now. Having the trains on both sides of the road. Like, imagine when this train's going on both tracks. There's probably going to be multiple tracks on each side. Because any tracks that go north on this side of the city are going to piggyback off these lines. So, that's going to be really cool. And one thing I am going to do, like now, is I'm going to put the depot in as cheaply as possible. Too much slope, of course there is. Just pop it in like that. And... Uh, one might have to train, depot, just one of the little ones, I do like these little depots, pop that there, and the reason I put that in there is because we got like $350,000, because I was going around the signaling, signaling, which is really cheap, and it, the money just built up, look how much we're making now by the way, making, uh, ooh, put these in order, 428,000 on the grapeseed food line, Sandy's up to 300,000, the, the train line. So yeah, we're doing pretty damn well. And I am going to start, I'm going to buy some vehicles. Uh, we're going to have, how much of these oil tankers? Two and, what? We can literally only afford one of those at the moment. Seriously? Uh, Baldwin six wheel. I can't even afford to put a tanker on the end of it. Okay, buying that train is going to be more of a long-term project. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I didn't think it would be that expensive. I thought they'd be like 100,000. Is that the only one we have? Yes, it is. Damn. Right, we're nearly there, actually. We need five more, three more. Ah, you are kidding me. Damn. Okay, let's close that for now, because we do need to put in some distribution lines. So, it'd be expensive to knock down these houses, but thankfully there's a nice little gap for there. Uh, I'm going to have a small street, I think, unless a big one will fit. Yes, it will. Perfect. Pop that in there. Want a road, freight, big depot. Don't know why a big one, I just do. Don't take that out of context. <laughs> right, we've got enough for the tank car now. So, buy. Oop, need a bit more. Not enough, really. There. Right, I'm gonna keep that in there until we can buy at least a second one. I wanna get like four on there, but that might be out of question now. Right. So, where does fuel get distributed to? I believe it's industrial. Yes, it is. So, where is the industrial in each of these towns? Because this will really help grow a town. That is possibly the worst place it could be there. In fact, that is the worst place it could be. There's nowhere to stick a 
depot. Unless, if I put one on the corner there, just a little one, if we could get it in. You know, don't knock down that building. Why are you knocking that down there? That would capture most of it. I'm going to put that in then when we get a bit of money. 2,000, we need, what's this? 7,000, 7.83 thousand. There we go. Pop that in there. And I'm going to put in a second one over here as well. Turn it around just to capture this end of the industry. Right, Cypress Flats, it might actually be in range from the station there. No, it's not, a little bit of it is. So, I am going to put a depot. If you put one in the center of town, where, what would it catch? Catch? Catch. Uh, it's a bit expensive, Ben. meh. Pretty much all of it. Okay, I'm going to do that when we get 32,000. Uh, it should be soon, hopefully. And pop that in there. And I'm going to send some fuel out to Los Santos as well. Oh, look at that. A lot of industry in Los Santos. That is a good thing. Big demand. Right, before it starts building, I'm going to put a, fuel, a truck stop there. And I'm going to put one over... Ooh, can I get one in there? No, I doubt that. Uh, I'm going to stick it there. Turn it around. Tap uh, a bit more. There. And... If we can fit one in this corner by here, I'll put one in there as well. I doubt we can. Uh, wrong key. Turn it there, no, not gonna happen. What about this side of the road? Try moving the camera, dumbass. No, that's not gonna happen. And I'm not gonna knock a building down to pop that in. Oh well, we got good coverage. We need some lines now. Uh, so, line manager. One, two, three, four, five. Just have five. Line one. Line two. Line three. Line four. And finally line five down by there. Uh, right, line one. This is going to be the train line. So that's going to go from uh, that depot there. Will it pick it up? Yeah. To this station here. Pretty simple. This is going to be TF Sip F uh, Fuel. And it's going to be a lovely orange colour. Right, line two is going to be just a very short line from there to there. And this is going to be RF, CYPF, the Cypress Flats, uh, Fuel 1, just to distinguish it easily from that one. And this can be black, because why not? Uh, right. The La Mesa one's a bit different. It's going to go from there to there. And then it's going to go back to there and over to there. And have you guessed? R, F, L, M, S, A. Fuel. That's fuel. Cool, cool. Fuel. Uh, let's make this. Let's have another orange. Right, line four is going to go from there. We've already ran out of slots, but don't worry. And that's going to go to that stop up there. And this is going to be our F L L S one. Again, black. And the last one is going to go from there 
to, where is it going? There it is. And that is going to be RF South V Wood Fuel. And that is going to be orange. That's probably going to confuse me later, all the orange and black lines, but it doesn't really matter. Right, I'm fine with that. Uh, they're all been named. Right, that's pretty good. Oh, we got enough for another carriage for this train. I'm happy with that. Uh, tank car, bye. We have two now. Uh, let's send it out. Why not? So you go on there. And I want a bit of a ride on you. I think first person through this valley with the tracks on each side will look pretty cool. Hopefully a train will pass us in the opposite direction on the other track. Possibly. But yeah, fuel lines generally make a lot of money. They're just hard to set up and expensive. That could do with a bit of smoothing and maybe relaying. First person rides are the best for finding out one needs smoothing with train tracks and things. So up around here, I really want a train to come in the other direction. I don't think, oh yeah, there it is. Oh, this looks cool. This is cool, one on each side of the road. That is really cool, I like that. Don't ask me why, I just really like things like that. And then it's gonna come over the brow of the hill and down into the station. There'll probably be nothing waiting the first time. You never know though, there could be. So it starts to curve off down by here. And let's see if we have anything waiting. Down through this little valley. Oh, that's a bit ugly by there. Oh well. And I don't believe there's anything waiting. No, not at the moment. Uh, oh, no, that is it. That is connected. Thank God. Scared me a bit then. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open that and I'm going to pin this up there just so I can see if and when we got fuel. Right, we need some distribution. So the depot is in Cypress Flats. So now I'm just going to check. Uh, I'm going to use American horse carts. One, two. And they're going to go on RF Cypress Flat Fuel 1. 1, 2. They're going to go on uh, La Mesa Fuel. 1, 2. They're going to go on LS1. 1. Can't afford a second one yet. 2. You're going on... Uh, safe Vinewood Fuel. One. Come on. Ooh, can we get it before the end of the month? Please. Yeah. That's going on. Uh, not Calafia Loop. Oh. I think we've missed one, haven't we? Let's open this and check. So, no, all the lines got vehicles. Oh. Okay, I will put these on, actually no, I'm just going to sell them, get out a negative sooner. Right, oh, we got stuff waiting at the train station, what's the capacity on this train? 14, huh, yeah, we desperately, we need another train for this track. Or at least another carriage or two. And I suppose if you want to see that happen, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Ha ha ha. I thought I'd leave you on a bit of a cliffhanger there. So thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, guys.